What's up guys? I hope y'all are absolutely killing it today. It is a beautiful day here in Texas. It's a perfect day. It's like 70 degrees. Last week it was zero. So it's it was 15, but it got down to zero. Uh, um, well, last week on Monday was 15. He obviously has this down a little more than I do. Uh, long story short, it was cold last week. Now it's not, so we're good. But we are washing the truck today because if you haven't seen the latest videos, uh, number one, link in the description, go check them out. We've done some off-roading and I haven't washed it since then. So it is an absolute disaster. Uh, and I showed up to a supercar show like this. And y'all can probably hear the dogs are, uh, they're not happy. I don't know why, but they're just not. This is probably gonna be the most satisfying uh, video I've ever filmed just because all of the dirt on the truck. Oh, I can't wait for it to be clean. Hey, guess what? I brought soap this time. Oh, I don't have to borrow yours. Oh, look at that. When was the last time you've seen the truck this dirty? <sighs> Marble Falls. Dude, yes. It gets filthy at Hidden Falls. Well, really no, filthy. No, it, this is like premature than what it was Marble Falls about a year ago. That You got it. Pretty dirty. pretty dirty so if you want to see that you're gonna to have to go over to Instagram I think I have some pictures from that I've had it like completely like no white showing before one day in a video soon well soon ish we're gonna to have to do that again so are these in the mail I don't know what the deal is with those dude I thought they were shipped. we're they're in the dark no I don't have a track number I'm gonna send them a message so I'm getting custom emblems made they're gonna be paint matched white carbon fiber they're gonna look super sweet I'm getting front ones made too um, it's been almost a year so there were research and development ones but yeah it's it's been almost a year ladies and gentlemen this is why we pay price the big bucks around here doing the work for, I didn't even have to ask him she's, doing it. she's looking a whole lot better than she did of course now we have all the water spots to deal with which we are gonna deal with uh, on the other side right now because sunlight and uh, detailing spray they're not the best combo um, you know you know Ooh, she's looking good boys at least well half of it's looking good so this is the half that's out of the Sun stop laughing at me bro stop laughing the part that's out of the Sun is great and then you come around to the part uh, that's in the Sun and the windshield and uh, oh, we don't look at the windshield that's not important yeah we still got work to do we're gonna do a little Little Yui here. You know how the Mustang it has a very nice musty smell to it. Correct. Look, I got an air freshener. It's an air freshener. Yeah, and it also entered me in to win a Mustang that I didn't win. Look at that. I know. Steps up, so uh, maybe this will do something. Maybe it won't though. That's also a possibility. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think it smells like? <sighs> cologne. It is a little Almost. bit cologne-y, yeah. It is. I mean, it smells good. I mean, I hope the, hopefully the Mustang likes the smell of it. It's gonna smell so much better in here, it's gonna be great. So on the list of things to do to the Mustang, the shifter uh, in gear, that's in gear, out of gear, in gear. Yeah, that's, uh, we gotta fix that. And uh, shift knob, that's not it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's, that's gonna be a whole lot of fun, dude. That so is. In my experience with the radio is that all should be plug and play. Yeah, but it's got all this stuff and this is, I don't. I, I don't know why, it has a fuse in there, yeah. It's aftermarket, it's, we're gonna fix that. Yeah, the Mustang is absolutely terrible as well. Gosh, all my vehicles are just so dirty. I don't even wanna know what the 91 looks like. That thing is probably trashed. It's time to get this side, so uh, go ahead, get to it. Okay, yeah, get to it. Unfortunately, uh, duty calls, and I have uh, real world responsibilities now. Um, there's still a lot to do though, like the interior. This is, I don't even know why I have a battery chilling in there, but never there, seen there is one. Interior professionally done since I met you. I've never gotten anything on the truck professionally done, so that's why. Everybody watching, know, all 145 of you know that this is very semi-professional. It just, it just okay, is. Let me rephrase that. I've never seen your inside vacuumed or done. Well, it has been. The problem is I do it, and then I end up going doing more off-road stuff, and it just doesn't stay like that. It's a problem, but it's also, it's also good. So what do you think? When I get back, Mustang, go for a drive. Yeah. Let's do and it. then uh, 
podcast tonight podcast yes, podcast sir. tonight so we're doing a podcast tonight uh, we're filming this on Tuesday so the podcast already would have happened if you uh, enjoyed it um, thank you I, I hope you did uh, if you didn't well I'm, I'm sorry you didn't but be sure to tune in the next one because maybe it'll be better okay price what's better that or the Mustang startup that for now yeah until you get the Mustang built then the Mustang is not better I'll take it. I'll take it. So, a couple things wrong with the Mustang. I'll go over that in a future video. Um, it's just a matter of allocating the funds to fix it, which is, I mean, it's the most college problem I could have, honestly. So, when it grows on trees. <laughs> you know, just for comparison's sake, pure comparison, I'm not getting any enjoyment out of this at all. I just want you guys to know. Probably not very happy with me because I took her on a drive yesterday. She starts. That's the big thing. I do think I need to check the spark plugs. I think that is kind of there's a little bit of a miss when it's cold. I think that's kind of kind of a problem. Read it, boys. 189,000 miles. She's getting old. Just a few little. Just. I really have got to get going now or else I'm going to be late and I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But tonight, we're going on a drive, then we're doing a podcast, so I'm going to see y'all. It's going to be like three hours, but for y'all, it's going to be like probably two seconds. All right, boys, we've made it out with the Mustang. Now, we already went out and we filmed a little bit just because we were running out of daylight and we wanted to get stuff done before. Um, we... Uh, I'm just gonna go out and say it. We made a slight mistake. I'm gonna let Jacob describe it though. So what did we do? <laughs> We've got to turn on the mic, Ethan. We forgot to turn on the mic. We did some like launch control, sick like flybys, and uh, we forgot to turn on the mic. So it sounds like like this. Don't worry, we did get GoPro footage finally of launch control, some flybys, maybe some downshifts. I don't I gotta look at it. So all is not lost. On the bright side, the Mustang does look pretty dang killer at night, mainly because you can't tell all the little imperfections. And you also can't tell that it is absolutely filthy, but if you watched the beginning of the video, you'd know. But we're here now, that's what's important. I spent like an hour cleaning the truck earlier today and it's still not clean enough. And I really don't have the motivation to clean the Mustang. So that's probably gonna happen, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. So in the next video, I'm gonna be talking about five things, oh, just let's be honest, there's more than five things that are wrong with my $1,000 Mustang. So just take in mind the price, you can, you can come up with a lot of things. After that though, I might go over some things that are right with the Mustang. There is a lot going for the car, especially considering the price that I paid. It was, right. <laughs> yes. It does, it drives. it drives. That's the chief thing is that the car does drive. It stops, it shifts, 
it's really really loud that could be kind of a bad thing though it's it's pretty much too loud i don't know if we'll fix that though because race car that's for a different video so water burger water burger water burger food vlog <laughs> yeah 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 okay that's enough that's enough it has an aftermarket uh alarm system <laughs> It sounds like a dying cat. It's so bad. It's so bad. Can I get two uh, grilled cheese kids meals with bacon, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Like, where's the bacon? Come on, Waterburger. Get your shit together. We ordered bacon on our grilled cheese. They didn't come with bacon. Wait in line for 30 minutes for no bacon. I'm the world. <laughs> I'm overly upset right now. This is genuine upsetness coming from Price right now. I just want y'all to know, it's genuine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's effectively gonna do it for today's video. If you haven't already, go over to the Stereo app and follow both of us. You are Price is Right. Price is Right. Price is Right, Covert Garage. We do podcasts like, usually like once or twice a week. P-R-E-I-S-S. -S. Yes. Not P-R-I-C-E. P-R-E-I-S-S. He's insecure about it. You gotta be careful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna get some footage of the Mustang with the mic on soon. Uh, and coming up soon, I'll let you know everything that's wrong with the car. It's it's longer. It's a longer list than I'd like it to be. But that's what you get when you get a thousand dollar car. It runs, drives, took us a Whataburger, didn't kill us. So really, it's a win-win. It's a win-win. I hope y'all keep crushing it. Have a good one, and I'll catch y'all next time.